Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Aries. Today we're going to be reviewing a book that's written by Mike Valla called Tying Cat, uh, Cat Skill Style Dry Flies. Now, the main beef I got with this book that makes it not that really good is it mostly talks about... Uh, it, it gives actual instructions here how to tie them, which is a good thing. Step-by-step -step instructions, yes. which Aaron said was pretty good. The main problem with this book is it talks more about the history here. Art Flick and all the history of how they came about making this book. Most of the book has nothing to do with tying dry flies. Uh, well, it doesn't have to do with the dry flies themselves and how to. However, one thing is, it's like, here's a pink lady... And it gives you step by step all the way through, then an atoms, etc. And it gives you the some... basic cat skill. It only talks about the basic cat style, cat skill. It is good. I recommend this. It for maybe anyone. has a dozen, maybe 18, 20 recipes in it, maybe a little more. But most of it is history of fly shops, fly tying, where the flies came from, what the waters are like, what the hatches are. And gives very little on actually tying comparatively. It has. It's like 100 pages of tying and 250 pages of everything else. 17. The quack is the last one. So it's got 17 flies in it, each about three pages long. And that one actually is one, one of the longest. Yeah, and this is just how to tie it, which helps you with the fishing. Uh, in, uh, so in my opinion, <clears throat> unless you were actually in the cat skills, uh, you probably in don't New need York. this book. Exactly. If you need to know, this is mostly a match the hats for New York. Now, the library around here paid uh, 30 bucks for it, so I better get a decent review out of it because they paid for it. So, my opinion is, unless you're, unless you can utilize any of these flies for other parts of the region, I wouldn't recommend this book. I mean, yes, it is a nice book. The only people complain about it's made in China, but it is a very decent book. Uh, <clears throat> just a second here. Let's see, it's got the... Uh, Quill Gordon, the Red Quill, the March Brown, the Light Cahill, the Pink Lady, the Adams, the Queen of Waters, Great Fox Variant, Tups Indispensable, Brown by Visible, Quack, and that's it. Let me so, tell you, in it's my not region, even oh my. it's not even 17, it's actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 There's only 11 flies. flies in it, and none of them are in the, uh, our, our general vicinity. And only three of them are in our area, no, by the way. Yes, there is. The oh. March Brown, the Light Cahill, and the Adams. Oh, okay. Three, three of them. There you have it. I didn't even so, know. So, yes, well, there you go. So, what do I rate this book? Well, for flying tie if you're and cat in, skills. If you're in the cat skills, it's probably about a seven, I would say. But for the rest of the United States, it's probably only about a five or six because you're not going to get much out of the flies in there. And it's probably more lined at the beginner so that you can learn something about fly tying as you're doing it. But it doesn't even look that good for that. No, and... So I would only give it a five. I give this, I uh, agree, five. Unless you're in the cat skills, I give it five out of ten, and I give it three out however, of five stars. However, for the looks that it has and the nice color photos inside, I mean, these are really nice photos. Uh, I would actually say the overall look of this book is worth having on a shelf. It's kind of an impressive looking book. You could keep it on your coffee table as a And coffee remind table book. everyone 50 years from now that your book was made in China. It says right there in the back. <laughs> I don't China. care if it says that. <laughs> but it, it would look very good on a, uh, on a shelf. Just the reason why is it's a very standard size for many of the fishing books out there. Yes, and I love hardbound books. So, with that said, everyone. There you have it. Please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments, feedback, and suggestions. I give this uh, 3 out of 5 stars, and I give this 5 out of 10. Thank you, and may God bless the world.